today's episode on Homebody. We're gonna make this bar for $20. Make your own today. I'm gonna teach you all it takes to make this bar yours right now. Hey guys, today we have a DIY project that's gonna be building an earthquake bar. Went to Home Depot, picked up some supplies. The earthquake bar is only gonna cost you about $22. I don't have the necessary equipment for sawing the PVC pipe, so I had to actually buy a, a jigsaw from Amazon. That's probably my most expensive product on this list. But if you had a handsaw, then it would be really, really cheap. Uh, and if you don't have that, then you can buy that for like $5. So what we picked up at Home Depot is a PVC pipe that's 10 feet long, two of them. One is one and a half inches, and the other one is one inch. What you're also gonna need is some PVC cement. This is not in focus. We're gonna need them. some end caps. That's for the PVC pipe that's 1.5 inches, and then also a coupler. The coupler, we're gonna be cutting in half, so it's not really gonna couple anything. It's gonna be single. And what I needed for this project was also to buy this jigsaw because I don't have a handsaw handy. And then I bought some extra little blades here. Other miscellaneous things that you probably need are some gloves, eye protection, a pair of gloves that's, you know, disposable, and a face mask. It's quarantine, so we have this ready, ready to go all the time, right? My room is a mess. Uh, another thing that we need is a tape measure. I got this thing from Ikea, also a pencil. As for the length of our earthquake bar, I think I'm gonna go with about seven and a half feet, maybe eight. Uh, after I make my markings, I'll decide then. I think I'm gonna go with seven and a half feet, so that's 90 inches. Things are so small, I can't even hook onto the pipe properly. And dexterity. Same thing with the one inch PVC pipe, we're also doing 90 inches. You son of a gun, come on. Ah. Alright, let's start from over there. Do is measure twice, cut once, right? Let's make sure I got this. Oh. And again for the one inch. Now, you can tell that I've got a master's degree in engineering. Oh. So that one is a little off. So that's why we always measure twice or four times or 10 times until we get it right. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. 90 inches is gonna be our pipe. That is how long our earthquake bar is gonna be. <sighs> All right, so I'm taking this outside. We're gonna be cutting the PVC pipe. There's construction going on. That's great. You don't need to hear me. We're gonna be cutting the PVC pipe. We'll put on your gloves, your eyewear as well. For my first time using this, so I'm gonna have to actually figure out how this works as well. It is cold outside. Ugh. It's like an unboxing as well. Let's see what we got here. Jigsaw, yeah, I finally feel like a man. I have my own equipment. Woo! Man, I'm gonna wear the mask just because I feel cold. Let me pause for a second. I need to actually read this thing. Be right back. All right, I think I got it. <laughs> Gotta install the saw blade. Upwards. Basic stuff for my engineer brain, you know. Put on your eye protection, guys. Gotta be careful. Ugh, so heavy. Okay. Very 
very dangerous stuff. Be careful when you're working with that kind of that kind of gear. All right, moving on to the one-inch PVC pipe. This is a decent bar length. Yeah, I like it. Unplug your uh, hardware before anything. Don't want to be accidentally pressing and sawing off our legs. We're not making a new movie, all right? Okay. So, my cut, not the straightest, but you know, it was effortless. And I like effortless. Unless it's at the gym, making muscles. All right, back inside. I got my two bars. I just remeasured. They are 90 inches and a few millimeters or something. But well, it don't matter. You know what? The only thing that matters is that this one inch pipe goes into this one and a half inch pipe. And then at the ends of the, the one and a half inch pipe, we just cover it with these, these uh, end caps and then it's all good to go. You know what? We're good. We're good. Stick this one inch pipe into the 1.5 inch PVC pipe. All in, not just the tip. Let's test it out before we start gluing, all right? Put on one cap, go to the other side. Other cap, it's good. Fits as well as this one. I forgot about the coupler. I'm about to go back outside and cut this in half. You know why? Because inside the coupler, there's a divider. We don't want that. We want this as anchors. So basically, we're gonna attach this to the pipe, slide it down roughly around to this level, and that's basically the stopper for our weight. To stop any bands from sliding past and then hitting my, my hands. All right, I think I'm just gonna do that. You don't need to see me cutting. And I feel like carrying the camera is too much hassle. I'll be back when this is uh, cut. Never mind, I'm gonna bring you outside. Just cause you're my fans. And I want you to like and subscribe. Do it. Safety goggles back on. I also need to attach the blade back on. I was scared, so I took it off. What way was it? Upwards. Ha! Ah. There you go. Sturdy. As you can see, well, maybe you can't, but I measured that this point is where I need to cut. That's all. Now I'm just hoping that this piece doesn't fall off my balcony. So I'm considering maybe I should turn this. Yes. No. No. I don't need to do that. Safety. Just in case, once I cut this piece off and it flies off. If it goes down that way, well... There you go. I don't think it's gonna fly anywhere. It's a lot harder than it seems. We'll get there. You bitch. I will win. And you will lose. PVC pipe. Come on. Okay. Oh. We got one ugly ass piece. Next. I and you have both come into the realization that power tools and me, not that great. So I'm gonna do this with a little wire cutter, slowly chip away at the things that I don't need. And uh, yeah, this is not time consuming. This thing looks so hideous. 
All right, so I took those two couplers, well, that one coupler, and made it into two. So earlier I couldn't cut through it, so you know what? I just burnt the crap out of this, and it's sort of hot enough to become malleable, so I just cut off the pieces that I didn't need on this, on this coupler anymore. Before we glue anything, we're gonna slide these couplers. But you know what? I'm just gonna put this in for now. Slide the one in. Got my second piece over here. I probably should sand this down, but I don't really care so much. I'm not gonna sand it down. You're gonna go in. Ah, Jesus. It's so hard. Strong. Like me. Oh yeah, this thing is pretty sharp. Maybe I will go get some sandpaper and sand this down later, but... Thank goodness I'm wearing gloves. For testing purposes, I'm just going to attach it to the end. See how long this is. Where's my tape measure? Cheap tape measure, where are you? Right next to me, obviously. Okay. So what I'm measuring is from one end piece to the other side's end piece again. What I'm doing is I'm finding the center of the bar. And from there, I can start measuring out where my arm placement would be. Measure a million times, then mark. All right, so done with the cutting, done with the measuring, and all that's left is the gluing. Put on your rubber gloves, onto your other gloves, because it's, it possibly can get messy. So what I'm using is some regular clear PVC cement. Let me see if I gotta shake this. Stir or shake before using it. There you go. Take off your end caps. Ooh, put this in good. Do I really need the cement? Ah, I bought it. I'm gonna use it. Strength! Okay. Well, look at this. So it's just like a little cotton ball. I'm gonna be pretty generous with this because this is the only thing I'm gluing. So right at the end. it around on the inside. Got my hair in there. Who cares? And just shove it in. Forgot to put on the... Next! So it's nighttime. I left some time for the PVC cement to finally dry, and it's ready to go. In the meantime, what I did was I added uh, electric tape. Sorry, I meant to say duct tape. To the the couplers. So now all the edges here, it's all smooth. So it's all good to go. Can you see this? I added these little tapes here as markers. So I know what center 
And just like any other Olympic bar, I know where the knurlings would be and where my hand placement is. My measurements are from the center. 33 inches from my coupler to the center on both sides. And then I have from the center to my first hand placement knurling marker would be 11 inches. And then while I'm inside the knurlings, then that would be six, about six inches. So I don't have bands. We're supposed to be doing band work. Uh, basically, you're attaching uh, either a kettlebell or some weight plates, Olympic weight plates, to just like these elastic resistance bands. And then you just kind of attach it to the bar. I don't have that. This is a makeshift DIY, cheap stuff, make it work kind of chip. And basically, what I used is my 30 pound dumbbell, and then I have one of these cloth belts. I just kind of looped it. So I'm just gonna bring it to one side, and then I'm gonna have another one. This one I attached to a dog leash, it's just a spare. Uh, put it on the other side. What? Give this baby a test, huh? Uh, let's not break anything. Ooh, ooh. So it should be pretty lightweight that you're working with this. This isn't lifting Olympic bar, but then basically the bamboo bar, it's already shaking in my arms. Ooh. Holding it here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. So, <laughs> very effective. Cost me 20 bucks to make, minus the, uh, the jigsaw that was pretty much useless. I suggest buying a handsaw if you don't have anything. It's like five bucks at Home Depot. And yeah, so $25 with the, with the handsaw. The pipes, the couplers, the end caps, and the cement glue. And you're good to go. Making all kinds of great DIY work. Uh, Olympic bars. Uh, I hope I gave you a good idea of how to do this. This is easy stuff, guys. It's easy, it's cheap. Shoot me a like if you like this video, or I inspire you to make your own. And uh, subscribe if you want to see any more. Right, guys? See you next time.